And some of y'all think, some of y'all think y'all, 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 you, you, you're wonderful. Like you got your titles, and you're wonderful, but you're not. I just don't bother. Let the wheat and tear grow together, and in that day, he's going to say, you see, sometimes in the process of trying to weed out bad folks, you mess up good folks. <laughs> because when you deal with, 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 with problems and issues and people, new saints, weak saints, not yet seasoned saints. Oh, let me talk again. I'm going to say it again. When you're, when you're dealing with, 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 with issues and dealing with new converts and new saints, and you're dealing with weak things and people who are leaning and, 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 and oscillating and vacillating, in the process of you trying to deal with them, you will mess up babies Amen. in the body of Christ. I found out just let that something that you, uh, 1 Samuel chapter 16, Samuel was still crying. And God said to Samuel, Samuel, why are you still praying for Saul, seeing that I have rejected him? He's been rejected. But what God did, he left him in the position, even though God had taken his anointing. Mm-hmm. I got to say it. Now, when you go home, I want you to read 1 Samuel chapter 16, around like verse 13. And the Bible says that God allowed and God sent an evil spirit to trouble Saul. You have to watch. When the anointed leaves, when the titles are taken, evil spirits come in the form of lying, denying, rebellious, and the whole nine yards. Because sometimes we hide behind titles when we're not living a, a five cents worth of dog meat. Mm, 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 mm. I'm going to let me say it again. Sometimes we hide behind these titles. We hide behind these images. We hide behind a call to turn it back. We, we hide behind a road bed on us. And not living in things. Saul was rejected. And God left Saul with the title and David didn't bother. And David didn't go after him and say, nah, I've been appointed and you want to go. David left him alone and God dealt with him. Sometimes you want to leave folks alone even though they're wrong. And let somebody else deal with them. Sometimes the best person to deal with a wife is the husband. Sometimes the best person to deal with a husband is the wife. Sometimes the best person to deal with a parent is a child. And sometimes the best person to deal with a member of the body of Christ is you that are friends to that person. You see, sometimes we've forgotten that we are our brother's keeper. Don't, don't, sit, don't look and, and, and find somebody doing wrong.